Guys, wasn't that exciting to see my Damon Diadema, the Taylor Swift Scorpion, have her young? That is so cool, and I was so glad that I was able to share it on my iPhone. So today's video, we're going to continue on with uh, feeding video 138 part two. So again, like I always say, grab a bag of popcorn and your favorite drink. Time to get on with the show. Again, look on the video description. Timestamps are included in the video showing all the animals by their scientific name and their common name if applicable. Okay guys, let's get started with the feeding video. All right, the very first tarantula I'll feature for part two of the feeding video is a male Cerecopelma species Santa Catalina, Santa Catalina bird eater. So the male is over here. Let's see what's gonna happen. Woo, love it. Damn, son. That's some good eating. All right, let's feed my female, Santa Catalina bird eater. Crazy. That's what she looks like. Just about three inches. Here's Wendy, a Gramostola pulker peas, female, Chaco golden knee. Blunk. Nice female. Well, guys, that 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 that. Uh, this is a freshly molted female. Look how gorgeous she is. I'll try feeding her. This is Laura. She is my mature female Gramostola species mull which is the orange fluff tarantula. All right, so let's set my, my tripod over here. Okay, I know I just checked her fangs. Uh, they seem dark. So let's see if she's gonna eat. She is so red. So hot and beautiful. <laughs> A really, really nice grandma stola. Checking in on the Adams family household. This is Morticia. My big female Brachypalma Vagans, the Mexican red rump. She's a full grown adult female around seven inches. Shazam! And the old one. Very nice. Alright, this is the last tea in shelf number nine. I'm just, you know, going in random order. Uh, this one here is my juvenile female Pamphibedius Ultra Marinus, which is the Ecuadorian purple pink femur you've seen in part one my older female this is how a younger female looks like freshly molted she's over there so I'm gonna see if I can try to grab her her attention her name is Lauren There we go. 
Oh honey, please come out. Show us how really beautiful you are. Uh, maybe I'll have to open up the cave so you can see her. Okay. Open sesame. That is what ultramarinists look like. <laughs> she wanted the molt. Why would you want that? What a gorgeous Pamphibedius. Okay, so these tarantulas are from shelf number four. So now we have Talia here. She is my female Gramistola poteri, which is the rose hair. Uh, she has been mated with Rose's male Roscoe. She is super plump like Michaela. This is Daniela. She is my mature female Lassiodora para hibana, the salmon pink bird eater. This is the female that I'm going to use to mate with Solomon's male. As you can see, if I try to pair her up with him, he's going to get munched. Alrighty, so let's let's give one more to her. Catch me outside. How about that? Sweet. This one here is Alberto. He is my male Brachypelma alpiceps, Mexican gold red rump. Boom, right in the kisser. Yeah, very fine young man. All right, here's Willow, very pissed off tea, usually most of the time. <laughs> uh, she is my Lassidora Fracta, which is the smoky gray bird eater. Looks a lot like Parahibana, except it's a little bit more grayish. Her name is Willow. Willow's a very good eater. I'd say she's about four inches in leg span. Here's Daisy. All right, she is my mature, well, not mature, but I would say sub all right now. Lassiodora parahibana. Salmon pink bird eater. <laughs> All right, so let's go and give her some supas. Ah, uh, I'll give one more to her. She's a bird eater. She can take it, can't she? Come on, girly girl. What, oh, you missed? Perf. Gorgeous. Donde esta? Esta la trampa. So, a uh, little residual four action going on here. So, this is my female from Mictopus erratus which is the Cuban bronze named Maria after one of the villagers. Boosh. Yep, she nailed it. 
nice bronze carapace and kind of purplish hairs from the abdomen. Really nice, good eater, and they get up to about, I would say, a good seven inches in leg span. Hey there, Seb. She, he is my immature male, Pocotheria hanama villa sinica, the Ramush worm ornamental. Spectacular attack from this pokey. <laughs> Look at that as in threat posture. Gotta love your pokies for sure. Okay, so you see my adult in action, but here is a little unsexed. Pocotheria tigrina with Selly, the Wessel Tiger Ornamental. Let's do the overhead view since you can see uh, the specimen pretty well from there. Here we go. Pretty cool. This one is a Pocotheria smithy, yellowback ornamental. Beautiful takedown. Freshly molted. Doing very well. I have a Trinidad Chevron here. Saw Polis Cambridge female. Disappearing act. Yep, three inch female. Sweet. Brachypalma vagans. Mexican red rump. This is the one I called Annette from Resident Evil 2. Yep, she loves to run and hide. Here's another B Vagans. Oh, darn it. Uh, cricket. Nose. Crazy. This one here is a Costa Rican red haired Brachypalma angustum. Yep, way down in the hole. You see a seized cricket. <laughs> Beautiful. Lampropelma species Borneo black. Nailed it. From Ectopus cancerides. This is the Haitian brown bird eater. Little spiderling. That'll hopefully name Isabel the Second. 
if this one ends up being female. Tapanakinia species union island chilling on the pill vial. Whoops. Union island tree spider. Okay, take three. Okay. Hmm. There we go, fifth time's a charm. Not much color to this one yet. But rarely takes on adult crickets. Alright, this may be the little guy's first feeding video. Uh, let's go off with Cithracanthus cineus. The blue Emilia question mark. Oh! Oh, giggity giggity goo. Wow, that is awesome. Thrixopalma species pyurins, which is the Chilean green velvet. Sweet attack. Ooh, I missed this one. This one you really haven't seen in a while, but this is the little spider link that I got from tanglesandwebs.com. A little Guatemalan red rump. Brachypalma sabulosum. Oh, nice. There's another little cool attack from one of the smallest brachypalmas in the hobby, Brachypalma shoderi, which is the Union Island. No, I'm sorry. Mexican black velvet. Oh, I have that tappy on my mind and how uh, great it attacked. Yep, basically look like a Chipokra except a lot smaller and a little bit hard to come by. Already showing most of the adult coloration. Alright guys, camera battery is about to die. So let's feed this little spiderling. This is a Metriopalma familiare. Whoops, sorry guys. But a successful hit. There we go. These scenes have a crazy appetite. I love them. They get up to about four inches. All right, this one is gonna be an impressive sling. This is Formictopus species full green, the Dominican green bird eater. Make out the slight green all over the body. All right, so now we're starting on with shelf number seven. This is my Gramostolo Poteri rosehair spiderling. So I have four of these guys. Uh, this one is going to get a cricket since it's only about an inch and a half big. Pound. Yeah, might as well take off that mold. There we go. Savage. Well, guys, an update on my Damon Diadema. This is the tailless whip scorpion. I showed you a little video uh, prior to that, uh, showing all the babies on her mom on the mom's back. 
Well, you can see now they're starting to separate. Well, these are fairly large. Uh, these are about maybe half inch. So I'm still going to wait for the other ones to climb off her back. Uh, some of them are actually molting, which is great. And if that's the case, I'm going to have to separate the mom and uh, the babies should do well together. However, half of them are going to Isaiah since uh, he's the owner of the mature male. But it'd be really cool to start a colony of these uh, Damon Diadema. So cute. Okay, I just want to give you an update on that since it's a cool uh, little thing here. All right, this one here is a Lassiodora difficilis, which is the Brazilian fire red bird eater. I have this one that could be suspect female. Oh, that certainly was cool. I love these Lassiodoras. They're so awesome and they got a vicious appetite. Sweet. All right, Poclotheria vitata, which is the ghost ornamental, formerly P. Petersoni. There's one. All right, let's see if she wants a second. Luge. Definitely a very cool pokey. Look at that tarantula mooning us. <laughs> Okay, this one here is likely an immature male, Pamphibeta species platyoma, which is the pink bloom bird eater. Yeah, but I do believe that this could be a male, just look how purple he is. This one is an unsexed Pamphibedius species Macaula, which is the purple starburst bird eater. Crunch. Kellogg's Rice Krispies. It's such a shame all those pretty colors that you see on the abdomen and the carapace are going to disappear and they'll be replaced by a dark brown slash purple color. This is still like an early juvenile, but still regarded as a sling because you can still see the Christmas tree pattern. But Pamphibedias are great eaters, as you'll see in the, the videos to come. Pamphibedias fortis, which is the white, no, Colombian brown bird eater. This one should go down without fail. Instant. You gotta love your P Fortis.
All right, this one here is Panthibetius vespertinus, which is the red bloom bird eater. Boosh! Wow, that was superb. This one here is Panthibetia species Aranapoido. Common name is the chicken eating spider. Okay, this one here is my suspect male. So let's see how he does. Yeah, he's large enough for a superworm. Ooh, tackled it without a hitch. Sweet. These guys are going to get about to 9, 10 inches long, maybe even 11. So there we go, that was the male. This one here is the confirmed female that I probably shall name her Matilda after the Angry Birds character because she's a chicken. Alrighty. Let's go from the frontal, the rear assault. Oh, oh, there we go. Nice. Kind of resembles Pamphibetus antinus a little bit. Cute. Oh my goodness, she is such a pretty girl. So this one here is Stacy. She is my mature female Brachypalma albiceps, which is the Mexican gold red rump. So she's gonna get two supers. Uh, she looks gorgeous because she recently molted. Mm, 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 mm. It's been a while since you've seen my big female on camera. I do need to make another tarantula video pretty soon uh, featuring, you know, like all the current collection. Obviously I'm just taking the, the ones that eat in, on camera. I have to do a full arachnid tour, which I haven't done in, ooh, talk about months. But you can see doing really well and one of my personal favorites <laughs> Peter Griffin here gonna bang me some Lois right so this is JMC's mature male G Rosea which is mature male Rose hair, red face. That's unbelievably hungry for a mature male. He's gorgeous. I'm trying to feed Lois and really haven't had the best of luck with her eating. I think she's on her fasting phase, which is pretty normal for the species. Alright, this tarantula is really hard to come by and quite expensive as females. This one here is Megaphobema mesomalas, which is the Costa Rican red-haired. Perfect. Can't ask for a better attack. Alright, these guys kind of look like the saviors, but not entirely. These are Hysterocrates species Nigeria, which is the Nigerian red baboon.
This one here is Gramistola Acteon, which is the Brazilian red rump or Brazilian woolly red rump, whichever you like to call this one. This one is my immature male. Let's get him a little bit interested in the super. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Yeah, come on, get off there. Get off there, boy! Huh, finally. Finally. That was cool. This here is my girl, Grandma Sola Acteon. Alrighty, a little small one, unfortunately. Oh, nice. That one was easy. Okay, this one is Solomon's Mature Male Lastiodora Parahibana, the Salmon Pink Bird Eater. Really, really cool male. And quite a nice size too. Hmm, that's some good eating. I think you'll do my female proud. This one is Cericopelma generalum, which is the general bird eater. Yeah, I kind of made that common name up because there's no common name associated with this guy. All right, there's my female. Nervous as hell. Okay. Yeah, she's in desperate need of a molt. That's why her colors are a little funky. But a nice size female. Ah, uh, fiddlesticks. <laughs> Out of all the hundred superworms I just bought the other day, well, last week, I only have like one left. And this is going to go to this unsexed specimen uh, that I predicted to be male, a Phonopelma gabelli. Uh, no common name associated with this one. Comes from the Chihuahuan Desert in Texas. Ha! Huh, there we go. Sweet. Well, I'm out of super, so I'm gonna have to use crickets for the other funnel palma, and I'll end the video with uh, feeding the gecko. Um, I'm gonna go tomorrow to get more supers, and then I'll continue on with the regalis and what's on shelves five and eight. All right, funnel palma calcodes desert blonde. This is the one I got from Tarantula Canada when I picked up my colony and a couple mature males. Ah, oh, sweet, this one took crickets. 
Would have fed her a super, but je n'ai pu. Well, lucky me, I only found two supers. Still means I'm gonna have to go and buy some more. However, I'm just gonna give one to both my P. Regalis, Indian Ornamental. Uh, this is for Chantal, uh, who has loaned me her mature male, which I'm going to feed uh, tomorrow. So, Polcotheria regalis, the Indian ornamental. This one is Zelda. Oh, I'm sorry, Espa. I'll have to give you crickets for now. Oosh. There she is. Cool. Oh no, I opened up Pandora's box. So here's my other P. regalis Indian ornamental female. This one will likely breed with uh, Chantal's male because she freshly molted not too long ago. And um, she hasn't killed any of my males yet, unlike Zelda. Okay. Well, I'm not gonna fish her out, or fish the super worm out, because she's a pokey. I guess I'll have to feature her again in part three. Hmm. Sweet. All right, now for Espa, she's hungry. So let's get to it. All right, time to feed my leopard gecko, Espa. Got one. Mmm, crickets. Sorry, girl, I know it's not the best. Got the cricket leg. She's done good eating. Mmm, crickets. Sorry, girl, I know it's not the best. She got the cricket leg. Done good eating. All right, everyone. So I think I'm going to end part two for now. Hope you enjoyed it. I ran out of supers, so I cannot feed uh, shelf number five and number eight. So I'm going tomorrow to get it, and hopefully, I shall be finishing the recording tomorrow and hopefully editing the next day and have it ready for uh, Sunday slash Monday, whichever day that comes so guys hope you enjoy the video i will have to feed pandora and zelda again i might do a little cameo appearance in part three so you can see at least pandora eat and that'd be great so that was a pretty cool experience uh showing the daemon diadema uh babies that are uh molting and have left off the mom's back so I'm going to have to start to separate the mom from her babies, which, you know, it's kind of sad, but it is what it is. I just don't want her to attack and start feeding on her young. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it.